Happy World Turtle Day, everyone. May 23rd is World Turtle Day. And I assume that's at least when you're going to be watching this video. I may be the only person to celebrate this, but for those few other people who actually celebrate it, let's get some snacks for Bubbles. Alright, so for those of you uh, who are wondering, we're going over three turtle snacks for this video. These will work for any aquatic turtle as long as you're uh, doing everything right, like making sure that the that whatever you're feeding them isn't sick and that you're not just feeding them one thing so that they get malnourished. So for all your red-eared sliders, African side nicks, uh, painted turtles, mud turtles, all those guys, all these foods will work great for them. So the first one on the list is mealworms. Mealworms are a great source of protein and they make great snacks for turtles as well as a lot of other uh, reptiles and amphibians. For a large turtle, I would maybe give like three to five, but for smaller ones, maybe one or two. If you want to grow out an animal really quickly, like uh, if you have a very small turtle that you want to get large really quick, uh, mealworms are a great source of uh, food. With my white's tree frogs, they aren't turtles, but I've been giving them a couple of these every day, and they will put on a ton. They've almost tripled in size since I've got them, and they're very active too. So I know that they aren't just getting fat. You can get mealworms at pretty much... Uh, any place but well with the exception of grocery stores yeah you know what I'm saying anyway uh, I like to get mine at PetSmart or a local pet store but Amazon and other places like that work well as too sometimes I, I actually have noticed grocery stores will have them uh, like in their bird section uh, for instance like for feeding wild birds to mix in with bird feed and those will probably work fine as well I just prefer getting the ones at pet stores also, at the end of the video, uh, I am going to be giving Bubbles the mealworms as well as all the other foods on this list. Second thing on our list is spinach. Spinach is really good for you as well as all of your turtles. Spinach has a lot of vitamins and minerals in it that are good for making your turtle's shell very healthy. For an adult turtle around the size of Bubbles here, I would maybe give like two or three pieces of spinach. Um, the main thing is uh, it, it doesn't really fill them up too much, and you want to make sure you don't give them too much as that can malnourish them or give them diarrhea or something else. You also want to make sure with spinach that you don't leave it in the tank too long or else it'll rot and just get really yucky uh, and slimy. Usually if they don't eat it within the first day, just pull it out and throw it away. With many turtles like red-eared sliders and painted turtles, not as much with uh, musk turtles and African side necks, uh, when they're older, they eat a lot more plant matter, like if they were in a pond, they would eat a lot more duckweed and a ton of other weeds in the water, as opposed to snails and fish and worms. So giving them spinach would uh, be somewhat similar to what they would eat in the wild. Spinach can also be uh, traded out for a lot of other vegetables like lettuce or, uh, or another leafy vegetable like kale. Although I do want to say, don't give your turtle iceberg lettuce. It's it's really not that good for them, as, and it isn't even that good for people anyway. It's pretty much just air uh, inside of a green thing. That, that's the best way of putting it. You can also pretty much find uh, spinach or lettuce or kale at any grocery store. Spinach is pretty cheap. Like uh, I think my mom gets it at Aldi, and uh, we can we can afford to give Bubbles a couple pieces of it. It's, it's very cheap. Now for the final thing on our list, strawberries. So right here are some wild strawberries, and this is what I'm going to be giving to my turtle. I do want to make sure uh, to tell you this, though. If your yard is sprayed with any sort of pesticide, do not give these to your turtle. It will probably, it will either kill them or make them very, very sick, which I assume you don't want to happen. Strawberries from your grocery store will work well, too, but I just have a lot of these in my backyard, so why not just give it to her? Strawberries have a lot of nutrients in them that your turtles will really need in life. Um, there's tons of vitamins and minerals that your turtle just just overall needs, like, uh, well, pretty much all the vitamins that you need as well. So if your strawberries are safe in the backyard or, or wherever, even if you go to the grocery store, you should probably eat some strawberries too. They're probably one of my favorite fruits, actually. So for an adult turtle, I could actually, you could probably go up to nine, at least for a turtle the size of Bubbles, the red-eared slider who I was just showing earlier. But for a smaller one, probably no more than three. Just because you don't want to gut load them. And all these foods are fine when together, just you might want to cut back. Like if you're doing all three of them, maybe just do like a very small piece of spinach and maybe 
one or two mealworms and a strawberry would be fine. So there's a couple of fat strawberries over here. Let's grab a couple for bubbles, and then we'll go inside and feed her. All right, this should be enough. All right, so I think first we're going to use the mealworms for this, since that was the first one we showed. I, I did give bubbles an off-camera test mealworm to see if she still remembers that tongs mean, mean food. And, of course, she's getting scared off. Hold on. She's trying to eat my hand. Oh. And, of course, the camera did not catch that. Yeah, she she loves mealworms. That's probably one of our favorite things, just probably next to earthworms and other things like that. Just a little piece. And she keeps on just biting onto the tongs. She's fine. It doesn't really hurt her teeth. Next thing, let's give her the strawberries. I guess we're just skipping around now. Sometimes you just gotta bump her around just so she remembers where the food is. It's like that. Strawberries, she loves strawberries. I'm not gonna give her a whole lot just because I don't want her to. I don't want a fat turtle. Hold on. She's pretty much given up on that one. She'll get to it later though. Maybe she doesn't like the strawberries now. Uh, some turtles kind of have moods where they like to eat certain foods, and some where they don't. I don't know why. Turtles, well, just like people, I guess. And we'll just give her a little bit of spinach. You should eat it, too. It's good for you. Oh, there. There, just like that. She's going to be strong like Popeye now. Or maybe she just likes shredding it. She'll, she'll get to it later anyway, but uh, let, me know if you, let me know if you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a part two later in the future. Like maybe I'll so, show some other cool things you can feed your turtles like snails or uh, things like that. I've already done videos on Cuddlebone as well as Earthworms. But I, I know everyone really enjoys seeing bubbles on camera. And today is World Turtle Day if you're watching it on May 23rd. So hope to see you all in the next one and take care. Bye.